all right guys so i have this dell keyboard it's dell t600 as you can see <clears throat> well this is quite uh, stripped apart because uh, i stripped it and then i put it back together right so what we're gonna do is uh, sometimes it so happens the keyboard keys some of the keyboard keys they just stop working like you press it but they don't give you any output so in that case usually what people do they just uh, replace the keyboard because obviously they wouldn't be able to repair it but we can you know we can still repair it why because there is a, a printed sheet inside this keyboard which we can clean off because what happens sometime because of the consistently or constant pressing the the print just uh, loses and the key won't touch it anymore so that's why what we will do we will take that uh, print out and we will clean it we will flatten it flatten it a bit and then we'll put it back together and we'll see it if it works or not anyway this keyboard uh, is not working anyway so that's why you see this into this position so first of all what we have to do we will have to remove all the keys their clips then we will remove uh, you see this these plastics and then we will remove this top bit and then we will remove this inside black bit so the printed thing it lies underneath that thing first of all we have to remove uh, this plastic this actually metal sheet this is uh, glued on the board make sure you don't uh, rip this thing apart right so now we will remove this key just give it a bit of tilt and it will remove now we have to remove this clip actually this clip we have to remove if we see on the back side of the clip which is uh, here we will just take the thing out from here using a screwdriver or something From the bracket we can just pull it apart don't try it don't break it after that uh, actually when I first started it everything was completely glued on so it was a bit hard to remove it but you see in order to remove this thing we have to remove these two plastics and there was another plastic here which is gone now I don't know where that plastic is but there was a plastic here as well so what we have to do if you see these holes this one this one this one and this one we will just we'll just push it using some screwdriver push it push it in and you see you can remove it simply simply move it oh this was the plastic which was here and uh, it was something like this and I removed it off using the same procedure I removed the plastics from here <clears throat> now we will take this thing apart it will come off easily it is not glued now you see uh, the plastic the rubbers they are attached to this thing and on the back side you see this plastic on the back side when we press it when we press this plastic it comes in goes out comes and goes out right now the main thing is to remove this thing this black bit right so make sure the ribbon is going through this uh, hole this gap from here and uh, we will use some screwdriver to see from where it can come off easily okay I can see this now you see this is actually the printer this is the print the circuit of the uh, keyboard we will just take it apart first time it was quite glued on and still it is glued in underneath so it is a bit hard to remove but we will remove it just give it a bit of force just make sure you don't break off anything any ribbons 
they must be remained intact. Okay, I'll just take the thing out. This is this was the base of the keyboard. Now this, as you can see, this is the printed circuit. So what happens sometime this bit, this bit it just presses down and uh, obviously or sometime it is misaligned. So the thing on the top will not touch it anymore. It will not touch it anymore. So either we can clean it off with petrol or uh, with any liquid like I have this foam cleaner. use any smooth very smooth cloth just don't rip it apart so guys this is this is the main thing why the keys don't work and uh, obviously I have uh, searched on YouTube I have searched on like almost every website and never found it so I said okay let's just make a video myself and show you two guys how how do you actually repair this print circuit board if it is broken from somewhere like if the lines are broken then obviously you can't repair it but uh, you, all you can do is just a bit of cleaning this is what we call professional cleaning and uh, which we, we will charge you a lot of money for that though <laughs> so it's better buying a new keyboard or something like for 45 quid or something because we will be charging like 40 quid just for cleaning the thing and making it work which could go bad again in the future so better buy a keyboard so that's why people just don't do it that right similarly you can simply put everything back on I don't really care about because this keyboard isn't working anyway the plastics here and obviously the clips and then the key on it good we have a keyboard